Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Opal Unicorn. Today we're going to talk about how using candles can change your life. This is just the beginning of a process and a life, a life of practice, basically. When you start to use candles to enhance your life with, alongside with prayer or other magical spell work that you may do or whatever spiritual practice you may have, meditation, um, so, many, so many ways that you can really help your spirit grow. Um, the candles that um, you can incorporate in this spiritual life that you have is a wonderful way to enhance and attract whatever it is that you want in your life. Um, so I'm going to get into the basics of using candles for magic and spell work and manifestation as along with um, You can call it spell work or you can call it prayer work because um, As I'll get into a little bit later in this video uh, There is history using candle magic with both spells Candle spells you would like to begin with any candle that you would like now, some people use a Novena candle, which is a seven-day glass candle that you could find at a lot of supermarkets, and I think Walmart also carries them, and those are awesome. I highly recommend getting those. I have um, been using these candles. This is a Merlin candle, um, so I'm going to use one of hers today. Um, I'm a big fan of using oils. My favorite oil company is the Lucky Mojo Curio Company. Um, you can find these online. I really enjoy them. You can also find these candles online at cauldronkitty.com. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. These are just if you want and you're interested. Um, but these two, the spell that I'm gonna be doing as an example for you today is, um, a, a spell that um, is is basically to open the doors for the energy and positive growth of trees and the environment because I'm asking the tree spirits and I'm asking the energies the fairy spirits the fae to help us um, with our current situation I'm in Los Angeles and we are currently going through severe fires and um, a lot of upheaval, both um, emotional, civil rights, um, as well as uh, environmental. So I am going to do a personal spell today with you all, um, using some of the most inspiring energies that, and powerful energies that I truly enjoy working with. Um, Merlin was a wizard that lived um, in a fantasy story basically in the Arthurian legends and um, the Camelots and the Avalon series if you're familiar with the um, old um, classics books and they're so ancient actually these stories that we actually don't know um, if they're blended with actual history or not and they have a lot of powerful energies connected with them and the pine the pines the evergreens the forests, the spirits of the trees, um, the fae that love the trees, the fairies that love the trees, the energy in Mother Nature's greenery. So this candle represents that energetically and it's green and it has a pine needle smell. And that's another thing when you're working with a candle, um, you, you do wanna um, add a smell if you can to them because it will enhance your own Imagining because when you're doing spell work, you always want to imagine as much as possible and get the details of whatever you want to manifest in your mind as clearly as if you can touch it in real life. So smell is very important to enhance that in your mind. So this candle has a really nice, awesome pine smell to it, um, which I, which, which actually, um, makes a whole room smell like pine and it helps remind me every time I go into the room about the spell that I'm working on, about the energies that I'm working on, about, about what I want to manifest energetically with my candle. And of course essential oils are best. This is just a candle, but if you 
want to go and get um, nice essential oils to add to this, I, I highly recommend you get some. And um, today I have a road opener and I have devil's shoestring oil. Devil's shoestring uh, root is a very old and um, it's really old school. It's a classic um, oil to use. It's very potent. It's 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 really lucky. It's it's strong and it's lucky. I know the name is devil, but it has nothing to do with the devil. It's real. It's just the name of the root. It's it's really about. Let me just get it up close. So you you guys can see it there. Um, let's see. Um, in the back now. There's the root, and that enhances all of the energy in this oil and it infuses this oil with the real root which is why I love these oils because they they do not mess around they have like really good ingredients in them really nice so we have this devil's shoe stream root and road opener now you can see all of these nice herbs that are mixed into this potent oil and this road opener. Now, I like this one because this is opening up a new road for us. Because for me, I see we need to find solutions to our sad and hurt society right now where we need to um, find a new road, find a new way um, out of this. Um, so here we go. And another, another very important thing is your athame. So my athame is, I'm gonna show you, a personal one to me. And I do recommend that whatever um, tools you use in your, in, your, in your witch toolbox, that you use, that you, you have tools that mean something to you. And the more they mean to you, the power, more powerful the spell. Because there's, there's layers to everything in spell work. And the more layers and the more depth you have in your tools, the more energy they have, the more powerful vibrations they have. This particular knife was given to me by one of my idols on my birthday, my special magical athame knife. Now, for those of you who don't know what an athame is in witchcraft and in witch work, spell work, it is basically the tool we use to cut through the energy in ritual. So. Um, I like to use this to inscribe my personal wishes, uh, wishes upon the top of the candle before I work. So we begin with, I'm going to write what I, what I intend. So I'm going to put in, um, my intention here and I want a road for the trees because I love them. <laughs> So, here we go. And it's really good to put a date on the, your inscription because again, every little detail and every little energy that you do when you're making a spell with your candle is gonna make it that much more powerful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the date. Now these, don't, these inscriptions don't have to read but they have to be put down here and you have to know you wrote them. Now, I'm gonna take my oils. I'm gonna take my lighter. Now, at this point, I'm gonna take one of my hairs and I'm going to burn it. So now that you, you always wanna take a little piece of your DNA and embed it in the candle. Now that is very, very important. You don't wanna miss that part. And another very, very, very important thing 
that I didn't tell you guys yet is in candle work, you always want to pay attention to where the moon is. If the moon is in one cycle, you want to do candle work for that cycle. And when you're, the, the moon is waning, you want to do things energetically that release things. And when the moon is, is waxing and it's growing, you want to do things that you want to grow in your life, right? And if it's a new moon, we can bring upon new possibilities, new dreams, new, new goals, old goals, anything that we want to have reborn, transformed, and rejuvenated in our life, right? So, um, I like to, my grandmother taught me to always have your candle going. Now this can be dangerous, so please do not leave your candle when you're leaving the house or anywhere where your cats can get to it or any of that sort of thing. So a very, very important thing about doing candle magic is the taper, okay? Never blow your candle out. When you leave your house or leave the room and you're, if you're nervous for any reason, about leaving your candle on because you're leaving the house or leaving the room. I know many, many women who have their candles on and they burn their house. Now, do not be one of those, but do not blow your candle out because you're blowing out your intentions, baby. So get your taper and just do this when you need to. Now, I'm not gonna do that. So now I'm going to say my prayer upon the candle and you can do this before or after, but I like to have all the ingredients in here and have that real strong prayer while that candle is lit, right? So if it's in the cards for us to please bring rain, so mote it be. So now that I have my prayer here and I've my, set my intention here, a weight has been lifted because I have given over my intent. I've given over my fears and my stress to the energies that are better than me and more powerful than me. And now I can go about my day knowing that that flame is lit, always lighting my road, lighting my way, lighting my dream and lighting my intention. Now you may think, oh, this is just a little spell, but no, no. It's a way of always manifesting your thoughts into reality. And when you see this candle, you know that candle is working on it for you. Thank you so much, everyone. This is Opal Unicorn. 